First we make our buildings. Then our buildings make us. How we express ourselves through architecture says not just who we are, it shapes who we become. Thomas Jefferson understood this when he designed the Virginia State Capitol and when he guided the vision for the nation's capital. He understood that architecture has the power to shape culture for centuries to come. The most ambitious and most complex building program on the continent, the capital was going to represent the young nation's ideals and set a world standard for technology and style. Jefferson appointed Benjamin Latrobe to realize this vision. English by birth, Latrobe became America's first professional architect. Soon, however, the two principals grew to respectfully disagree about how to develop the building. Jefferson's vision was deeply influenced by a dazzling display of light he saw at the Paris Grain Market in 1786. Latrobe dreamed of the elegant chastity of monumental Greek architecture, a capital built for the ages, yet modern and functional. By 1814, the South Wing was near completion and Congress had met there for six years. Many speculated that it was one of the most magnificent chambers in the world. But the enigma is this, no one really knows. The Capitol and the other public buildings in Washington were burned in 1814, near the end of the War of 1812. And until now, the great chambers have been lost to time. Hi, I'm Richard Chenoweth. I studied art and engineering at Vanderbilt University and architecture at the University of Virginia. Over the last several years, I've recreated the lost masterpieces of the Latrobe Jefferson era capital. I've carefully examined the few existing drawings and the many letters which describe this period of construction. My research has been made possible by the curator of the Capitol and the U.S. Capitol Historical Society, but much production work has not been funded. Thousands of hours of forensic architectural reconstruction, studying, modeling, piecing together fragments and clues from many sources. I had a rare opportunity to study some of Jefferson's original influences in Paris when I won the Gabriel Prize for the study of French architecture. As an architect, I designed the Metro Canopy Program in Washington, D.C. The Metro Authority built 28 of these entry canopies as part of a large public works program. In 2011, I produced a short documentary that won awards for best writing, best editing, and was broadcast by PBS Richmond. Now, I'm in the unique position of being able to tell the story of the Capitol's first decade using state-of-the-art digital techniques. I'm on Kickstarter to raise funds to create a 30-minute documentary about the Capitol's first decade and the most beautiful room in the world. Funding will provide for writing, producing, interviewing, and licensing of imagery. This is an essential story of American history. Politics, power, art, money, giant personalities, and a conflagration to test the nation's resolve. As a story of architecture, the Capitol represents our monument to an idea and a model for the nation. It also represents America's first attempt to build a monumental, modern building. Thank you for your support. I'm passionate about this project. It's a labor of love, but I need your help to get it done. The struggle to build this monument still resonates with us. It's important for future generations that we place this story in perspective for a better understanding of the American experience. As we approach the 200-year mark of the War of 1812, what better time to revisit this neoclassical masterpiece and the beginnings of the American experiment in democracy. Thank you for your support. Together, let's bring back this essential piece of your history.